Do not involve my family in party matters. I you once weekly. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Iacha Ayu, the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has said that a presidential candidate did not give him one billion naira. Ayu's claim comes after Nyeso Mike said that a People's Democratic Party chairman had gathered the money before the party's primary for president. Wike also said that the children of the People's Democratic Party chairman would disown him if his secret activities in the party were made public. Wike has also been at the center of the push to get Aye fired. Also said that Aye got 100 million naira from a governor who was still in office. Aye denied the accusations during the meeting with the party's board of trustees, BOT, on Friday. He said that loans were taken out of a bank at the time that was run by a People Democratic Party member to help the party with its funding activities, with its funding difficulties. This is a meeting of the Board of Trustees, which I'm a part of. As accusations keep coming up, this is a chance to set the record straight, he said. I decided not to answer because I didn't want to start a fight at the party, but I want to make it clear that I never took one billion naira from anyone as the national chairman of the party. When we came in, the party was having trouble getting money, so the presidential candidate said we should get a loan from the bank. The owner of the bank is a party member. He's no longer at the party. No one ever gave the party any money. Any money that was given to the party in advance was reported to the NWC, National Working Committee, and given to the National Treasurer. All of our financial records are up to date, and we promise to share them at the end of the year. Regarding the claims made today, I told the BOT in detail that one of our governors gave 100 million dollars to revive the People's Democratic Institute, which was housed in a porter cabin. I also told them that we rented a suitable place in Asukuru. We furnished it and fixed it up. We went there and looked it at it for three days. The National Working Committee decided that before we put it into use, we should invite the governor in question to see what we have done with his money. I'm glad that the party's national secretary wrote a letter to that governor. I or the National Working Committee has never asked for money to make that change. We have not even used up to the 100 million naira that one of the governors gave us. Are you also told the party not to involve us family in each business? Since the party's convention ended on May 31st, I've been attacked over and over again, but I've not said anything because I'm the party's founder. I thought I should try to bring people together, he said. Um, unfortunately, it's not working. It's not working for you. It's not. Look, eh? See, the thing is, waiting we can talk, there is a truth in it. I don't mean the accusation. I mean him coming out and saying there is no way that the People Democratic have can have a nothing presidential candidate and a nothing, uh, or what's it called, national chairman. That there is no way. Equally, it can't happen. And it should, not be, it should not be permitted to happen. That is what I'm saying. So, that is what he's saying. There's, a, there's truth in it. There is no two ways about it. There is no how we are going to talk about it. The, there is true thing. This is not fair for PDP, whom both Southerners, I'm sure when they were find, founding or when they were about to, you know, lay the foundation of PDP, when they found PDP, they did not have it at the front or the back of their mind that it was going to be a regional party. So all of a sudden, why are they going, making it a regional? Now there is, there is a provision for a mistake, you know, and a mistake, and I make, you know, maybe the national chairman come from, you understand, from one place. But another mistake, now there's an opportunity for you, for you to write this mistake, to write it. Instead of you to have a national presidential candidate, if you say a mistake, okay, then you, you know, you write it now, nothing. And Wike is saying that, <laughs> I they should step down. I was even suggesting that, you know, they should come to a compromise where I get to uh, step down temporarily. You know, now and allow a southern candidate to emerge, and that after then the person can act as the what's it called, a temporal national chairman until after the elections. And if Atiku wins the election, you know, the person cannot continue. But if Atiku does not win, the person steps down for you. But if you like say that particular, this is my own where they talk now, they're not even ready to. And the thing is, people keep saying, eh, Wike is a. Eh, What's it called? He's, uh, he's trying to break down the party. But if you look at it, Ayu came out before the party, before the PDP presidential primary you know, election. 
he came out and nobody pushed him more. They did, he did not have a gun to his head. He came out and said that, you know, if a northerner should emerge as the presidential candidate, that he was going to step down. That was his word. All of a sudden, Ayu is no longer wanting to step down. He said he did not say so. So Ayu is coming out to say there was never a time he said that. And I was like, uh -uh, Ayu said this now. Ayu said this. Now, me, I feel Ayu is the one self gone. It's not just Wiki, it's Ayu. And the thing is, this is just the Southerners. You know, when a child is, is say, all of a sudden, maybe one of your child, maybe we don't neglect for a very long time now, come the rebel against you. You don't meet him back with rebelling. You don't meet him back with grounding him because you're going to make things worse. You have to, especially if that child is of age. That child don't they get sense where you say, well, you stink. It's okay if you explain. If you say that, the child explain to them. And there will be, you know what, an understanding. Apart from the understanding, you are going to be able to correct. Maybe your child is telling you, maybe your child is rebelling. And maybe when you sit down with him, you now notice that you yourself are not being available. You now see things. Okay, you are, you're always making him feel inferior in front of maybe his siblings. You understand? Or you're always favoring one particular thing. You have to come out and balance. Apart from saying this is not how it feels, you have to start doing it. You understand? You have to bring things and, oh, okay, what do you think? You ask, if the child is saying you don't listen to him or you don't even ask him what he likes or what he don't like, you just go ahead and make decisions for him as if you know he's not, he's not come of age. You do what you, you make amendments. Let the child say that, okay, true, true, you know, me and my people, me and my people don't settle. You understand me? Yeah, but you cannot come out and say, eh, you know, they should allow us to do election first. Like I heard somebody say that same. Um, they said, are you will step down if Atiku does not win? And I'm saying, I mean, if Atiku uh, or wins. And I'm saying, now that PDP has everything to lose, now that PDP, they have election, to, they, they, they're scared of losing the election. Ayu doesn't want to step down. So now when Ayu see, say, they don't get anything. Ah, we can't go one big bow. We cannot go grill. So my own is PDP, not like I'm a member, not like I love the PDP so much. I'm just like, I am actually amazed at the people who are asking us to give them, to give them our mandates, are coming out and they're telling us, you know, and we're seeing all those things. If you cannot compromise for the peace of your party, for the progress of your party, for the growth of your party, then I don't understand. Are you not going to be able to compromise for us? As in, if you come in, Will you be able to go the extra mile to make Nigeria better? That is the, that's the question here. That's the question. Will you be able to come out and make Nigeria a better country? Since you cannot do it, and let us not forget that the grace to do it will not come upon them if they cannot right the wrongs in their party today or now or pre-election period. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.